I would have been with clergy on patrol, but I'd have been the one behind with the cane. <laughs> but we're grateful for the mayor and for her vision for the city. We're grateful for her constant and committed dedication to the safety of all the citizens of Rochester, New York. And we're grateful for the way she's opening up all these opportunities for our young people. Uh, they've come to our church on many occasions and engaged with our young people concerning the opportunities you can have as being a police officer, a firefighter, or working with 911. And it's good to see our young people gravitate toward what they can be uh, to give them hope as a civil servant down through the years. We've been working with some of our young people that are marginal in their education right now in the middle school areas so they can be ready when they get to high school to come right into uh, the police, the firefighters, or 911. But we're grateful again for the mayor's vision. We're grateful for what she has in store for the city of Rochester. And we're grateful that so many slots are opened up this year. And we thank God for the diversity that will come to the police, the firefighters, and 911. Bless you. Genesee Street to our mayor, Donald Lovely Warren, to the chiefs, to the director of the Emergency Communications Department. I am excited about this community initiative that our mayor has established and starting this summer. It is a very progressive move to reach the community and make available the opportunities to pursue these jobs in the civil service sector of our community, which is very important to take these progressive means. Um, I've been on both sides as a community member and then while they've been I was a civil service commissioner for eight years and a police recruiter for the Columbus, Ohio Police Department. And it's important to create avenues of opportunity for inclusion and diversity. And so I think this initiative that our mayor is leading will be very impactful to not only help young people and all citizens of our community, but particularly African Americans, women, and Hispanics. So we are grateful to open the doors of the Enum Church to make ourselves available to try and get the word out to our community as to how people can engage the process of becoming employed by our city in these very vital ranks that serve our community. So we want to thank the mayor again publicly for this initiative, the chiefs, and the director of the communications department for making this opportunity available for our community. So thank you and anything that we can do to reach the community through our means of communications to get the word out. We are willing to do that and we're excited about the opportunities. Have a wonderful day. We believe that those who serve, they should reflect those who they are serving. Yeah. And so as a church who has a heart for the community, we want every local pastor to get the word out to your congregants, to those who are looking for viable jobs for the fire department, police, um, to be a part of the police department, or to work in emergency communication. Um, you don't have to move out of Rochester to get a great job. That's right. This is your opportunity to be a part of our vibrant, thriving, growing community of young, black, brown, men, women, professionals that are making our city better. And so I want to admonish and to ask all of our local faith-based leaders to take time on your Sunday mornings to speak to those that you know that are looking for a career, not just a job, but for a career, because we know I pastor a church full of millennials. Everybody's not going to go to college. Everybody's not going to go to trade school. This is a perfect opportunity for you to find a career and not just a job that will benefit you, your family, your children, and even maybe your children's children. So we thank, we are thankful to our mayor and for all of those who are here. This doesn't happen too often. I know the fire department only recruits every four years, but this is where all of these departments are hiring at the same time. So we cannot admonish you enough to get the word out to those who need a great job, great benefits, and uh, a living wage. So please get the word out. All of the pastors who are watching this now, please take time on your Sunday mornings to get the word out about what's happening with our mayor and our city. Thank you very much.